In June, ESO will launch its second satellite dedicated to the European Copernicus program from Europe's spaceport in Kourou, French Guiana. Called Sentinels, this new family of satellites are designed to monitor our planet. The Sentinel-2 satellite has been prepared in Germany before being shipped to Kourou. Its main characteristic is to offer color vision of Earth, combining high resolution and novel multispectral capabilities. We are uh, really uh, facing an unprecedented growth uh, in the domain of uh, Earth science and uh, environmental monitoring. Uh, just for the Copernicus, uh, the program that we're running with the European Commission, we have 14 satellites uh, at the moment under development. The ESA Earth Science program is really covering all aspects of environmental uh, monitoring, uh, from radar to optical to spectrometry, from ice to land to ocean to atmosphere, and we're really covering uh, all, all the field. The Sentinel-2A satellite carries a single multispectral instrument with 13 spectral channels and a swath width of 290 kilometers. Sentinel-2 is uh, a satellite that brings together many new features. On the one hand, we have a very broad uh, swath that is able to cover the Earth within uh, five days once we have two satellites. The second thing is that, uh, different to other sa uh, satellites, we have 13 spectral bands which is also uh, new in the sense, together combined with this large swath. Um, it will allow us to monitor the Earth in different spectral bands every five days, continuously and systematically. The Sentinel-2 satellite will routinely deliver high-resolution optical images of vegetation, soil and water cover, inland waterways and coastal areas. The data will benefit services associated with the agricultural industry and forestry, as well as disaster control and humanitarian relief operations. We have a lot of uh, new uh, facts indeed. Uh, for example, in the last report of the International Panel for Climate Change, a lot of the findings were based on satellite data. We investigate the principal processes with the scientific mission and then we get the operational data over a long time frame so we said we see what is really happening and it's not modeling, it's to see what is happening on this planet. Meteosat, the first European meteorological satellite. 35 years after the launch of the Meteosat satellite, which provided the first meteorological observations from space, the Sentinels are ready to monitor our changing land and seascape and to contribute to the preservation of our planet.